Oh, have they gone in? It's gonna work. We're Amelia and Robbie. We left our lives in the city and spent every penny we had on an abandoned shepherd's house on the top of a mountain in Spain. Join us on our journey as we build our dream homestead. Since moving here two and a half years ago, we've cleared all around the old shepherd's house, created a livable space upstairs, built a solar system, developed a vegetable garden, built a home for our chickens, planted hundreds of trees, and stabilised our water supply. We have a goal of becoming self-sufficient from our vegetables in 2024. And for this to happen, we need to build a polytunnel so we can get all our seedlings ready for spring. However, with temperatures dropping to nearly zero most nights, we need to move all our seedlings and get new ones started with the warmth of a polytunnel. So far, we managed to buy a second-hand structure online, give it a paint job and added some wooden door frames. Unfortunately, to add fuel to this story, I have injured my toe and can't walk, so Robbie and Sage are going to have to bend the universe to get this thing finished in time. Do you want to say how we're going to, like, build this point tunnel? Do you look like Do you look? Do I look? You look great. Are you joking? <laughs> Robbie has a choice between helping a very injured woman or making a polytunnel. <laughs> what if I'd hit my toe? Which is good, because I've been asking him to do it for about two years now. What are you going to say about the polytunnel, Sage? Uh, Go do seesaw. Sure. <laughs> Down. Oh. Me, I've got a numb bottom. So, how many days until we need the polytunnel? We need it yesterday. I'm in agony. <sighs> I'm gonna pour some concrete into these footings because, um, well, concrete, we'll put some concrete in. <laughs> Fortunately, everything we own is blunt, so. You're looking pretty cozy. I'm ready to go back inside. I'm very, our new sofa is really nice. Mm. Our fire is warm and our house is like uber cozy. I didn't grow up with a fire. Did you not? That's yeah. why I have it on 24 hours a day. <laughs> and we've used so much wood. <laughs> but it's all right, look at our log pile. Oh, wow, that's great, isn't it? All right, well, you get on with it then. So what are you gonna do? Go get the concrete mixer. Yeah. Okay. Have you had a whiskey? <laughs> Put that Christmas tree down. Saves, so this is gonna be the first Christmas you're gonna remember. Very good.
What do you think of the door? It looks great. I've gone for a new design. Yeah. Yeah. 64 screws. It's like nearly a whole place. Yeah, the box is probably got a whole lot. Look very handsome. Is that a real egg? Is that the egg that she laid today, Sage? Yeah. How careful are you with eggs? <laughs> You're looking very kind of stylish tonight. <laughs> and we're gonna try and get all the splinters out of your hands tonight, Sage. <laughs> Are you enjoying that loaf of bread? Hat! <laughs> it's tinsel, but it's green. I'm really happy you got tinsel. I know, you're so. So yeah, I've got something to tell you. What? Um, so the Habili have struck. On what? My garden? On the pond? On my compost toilet. <gasps> On the compost pile. Where? What? <laughs> Where? Come on. They've eaten the chickens. They've eaten the chickens. Are our chickens dead? What? Tell me! They've eaten the chickens. For sure that's what they've done. They're dead. <laughs> they've eaten all four of them. <gasps> my garden! No, my garden over there. Have they have they gone in that garden over there? Oh god, they've gone the over there, haven't they? What am I more concerned about? Living animals. Oh my, oh my god. <laughs> they broke into the orchard. No. Yeah. Oh. Oh god, they've literally gone along. You've never been able to smell them, but they have like a really... Just here, like really musky smell. That irrigation line used to be straight. This crater never used to be here. I mean this here, like... The, look at that. What are you doing to help the tree? Put the things back in. Now give it some water. That's a real positive spin, I appreciate that. <laughs> what about here? <laughs> it looks like someone has taken a tractor with a plow. And there was like two trees there. There were two trees there. So what? You still Mrs. Optimistic, are you? So how are you feeling about the, the wild boar damage now? Yeah, a little bit frustrated because we put like a lot of time and effort into building this food forest. If you haven't seen that, it's going to appear like here or here. But I've always wanted to do that. Here? Will it be here? So how long did we spend in that, in that video making our food forest? Oh, weeks. Oh, this has even got a worm. This is an acacia. Huh? The fridge. <laughs> and it's like two steps forward, one step back, but more like two steps forward, three steps back. <laughs> it's almost like we shouldn't bother being here. It's just annoying because we really thought we'd actually kind of sussed it with this fence, you know? We get chickens, the eagle comes eats them the yeah. wild boar come eat all them we plant olives the goats and the sheep come and eat them all we spent a lot of time and effort on this food forest and it's really frustrating when things like this happen i think he's gone <laughs> so it's like i was so demoralized at that point looked at it i was just like oh. just trying to like make myself feel positive again <laughs> about just Life. So he just got into the shed. He's making his way back with a plank of. At least he's doing something about the fence. <laughs> Is that for our fence? <laughs> yeah, maybe it's just a, a sign. Do you know how to spell happily? 
Mom? She's a tusk. And it's hairy. So like, hold on. Mm. Do you think it's going to work? So we've put prunings all the way down where the trees are. But what's the goal here? Well, just stop the habily digging. They've even pulled this bank our wall down. Like, look at all these big rocks they've... And then look at this tree here. They use this as a as a cleaning post. And it must be like a huge... It must be a huge animal to get all the way up there. It's like... All these bank cows here were so nice to be built. Dudes! No, they snapped off the... The piece Dude. of tape that we had holding it up. Totally broken our wall. How high up is that? That's like a nearly a metre high. Yeah. So what? Big this... things, but they've got big legs, don't they? They've got long legs. <laughs> How cool is that though? That's when we first moved here. I've got a video of you. We hadn't even bought the place yet. Yeah, this was like the first time we came up to it. <laughs> It's here. That's a big frog. Oh. A tadpole. Tadpole. <laughs> tadpole. <laughs> Lots of tadpoles. Toads, frogs, water boatmen. Of your, he had 10,000 men falling over, but not down. Humpty Dumpty sat on our wall. It's perfect. Oh. <laughs> she was like, Yeah! <laughs> Which one's Papa? I'm really excited for this polytunnel. Great. This is actual genuine excitement. Like when we did the pond, kind of excited. Like when we're doing the compost toilet, a little bit excited, but the polytunnel is like genuine excitement. Can you tell? It would be so nice to have like a proper space for our seedling. This is... Is that a big frog? Nom nom! Nom nom! Oh. Toads are like... New York Italians. It's like Tony the... To oh shit, that was Australian. Tony. Tony the... Stella. Stella, my heart aches for you. Tony. Tony the Toad. Stella. Stella. Anything else you want to say? <laughs> it's a big toad. Some toads in captivity have been known to last live 50 years. She could literally have been there for 45 years. Mm. You are such a funny little cat. Imagine the things she's seen. Back in 1980, a mouflon came down.
Robbie is now going to dig some trenches and I'm going to go back to bed. Bringing in the big gun. and say show how it's done. <laughs> So we happy with the trenches? Yeah, they look great. Did you work with Papa? Hmm? This is like... I think maybe. Okay. Yeah, but you said it's 27, because what's the point of measuring it? Nine. <laughs> I mean one. 8.2 all the way across. That's 15. If we were going to split it in half, it would need to be seven and a half. What we thought. So what's going on? Oh. What the? What the? <laughs> what's that? What's that? I mean. <gasps> what should we do? What have you done? Oh my gosh! The whole box is on fire. What are you gonna do once your poly holds up? Stop sowing some seeds. So how are you feeling about putting this pond sheet on? Pond sheet. I mean. Me and you are the dream team. I think we're probably going to fall out, aren't we? If we made a giant sandwich, we could trap them in it. Yeah. Well, at your end, so... This isn't the nine meter edge, is it? No. You seem very sure of yourself. It's already hot, isn't but it? Reads correctly this way. Yes. If you then sun this way round. Oh look, it's backwards. It's not backwards, it's upside down. Correct. There's no difference between inside out and upside down, you noob.
Look, I'm... You put a song on the wrong side. Yeah. This. No, oh, no, baby. Yeah. Four hours later, and what do we have here, Amelia? Right. That You've got your slippers on because you're meant to be in the sling all nice and warm. And how's Papa doing? Having a mental breakdown. You've been having a mental breakdown all day, haven't you? Yes. So it's been great that you've really persevered and pushed through your breakdown. Give it to me. Can you say no to that? <laughs> Every time I'm worried about the wind like damaging something and I go to sleep, I wake up in the middle of the night and it's so windy. And then I have to get out of bed at 2am and run around doing oh. the things I was supposed to do the night before. I would rather like go through the pain right now. <laughs> you can do this. East in. Right. Flee and then when you... Papa needs that. Now it's your time to shine sage. <laughs> wow, that's pretty cool, isn't it? I'm like really proud of that. Now it's protected from the the making of the polytunnel is just you working incredibly hard and me in my dressing gown. <laughs> the mountain looks so epic right now. It's a beautiful like golden hour light. Alright, come on buddy. That's you. I can't wait to make it all pretty in there and uh, get all of our get all of our seedlings in there, right? Your structure is <laughs> Oh. How satisfying is that? vegetables in there
Santana looks very nice. I've done it. Yeah? I've done it. You're so happy. I'm so happy. <laughs> it's unbelievable, I found. I've cleaned the floor, so you have to take your shoes off. <laughs> Uh oh, have you spilled the almonds all over the floor again? I think I know what your love language is. Do you know what mine is? We're know. both going to win in this situation. My love language is acts of service, and you have just built a point on for me. And your love language is words of affirmation. Mama. So, right now, I just have to say, Wow, Robbie, you've done the best job in the whole world. You're a master of tools and hands. And look at how great our polytunnel is. You're a genius. Just keep rubbing that ego so you do more acts of service for me. <laughs> how did you come up with such brilliant ideas? And how did you work so hard? You did it in such a short length of time. It's really nice, doesn't look it? Look at that. You know, to be fair, what I really like is the wood. Like, it does make it look yeah. like, oh, like rustic and like yeah. homely. Yeah. And Yay. It's not just a polytunnel, you know, it's built with some love and thought. I'm <laughs> so happy that it's nice. over. Nice. See it all. <sighs> yeah. Uh -oh. Where's that front door? Because it's blowing freezing. We've got a polytunnel!